What's up YouTube? Today I got this 2007 GMC Yukon and we're going to be replacing the battery. I've already got the battery here. It's going to be a MTP H8 H or 48 H6. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so I can continue to make videos like this to make your life easier. Let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is grab a 13 millimeter of some sort. Bracket off. Set your bolts aside somewhere where they're not going to fall and get lost. Alright, now you're going to take this bracket off right here. Now if you notice, all these are the same bolts, so it doesn't matter where you put them. Next we're going to open this cover right here. A 10 millimeter. Take off your positive. Lean that aside. Tuck it out of your way. Same with the negative. Now if you look down here, there's another bolt on this bracket. Get that out of our way. Grab our 13 and a long extension. Give y'all some light. your bar set that somewhere aside set the bolt up here though like I said they're all the same so it doesn't matter all right, now on the very front side right here this is a hold down bolt I don't know if you can see it or not right there a little rubber hold down it's a 13 millimeter also it's a little too long. Let's grab this other extension, the locking extension, so you're going to lose your socket. Set that aside, and that bolt, that bolt is different, so don't lose that bolt. All right, now hopefully your battery has a handle. So you're gonna slide it forward. Pull straight up. Take your new battery. Go ahead and peel off these little protective covers. And that one's stuck on there for some reason, so I'm gonna go grab some pliers. Yeah, everything's a mess. I've been working very hard today, so I haven't had time to straighten things up. Get that off. Get off of there. Alright, now you're negative. Go ahead and get that out of our way. Goes towards the left, towards the back of the car. 
slide it in there, lock it into those little grooves in the back until they seat. Grab your hold down again. Start the bolt by hand. Hope y'all are seeing this. It's a tall truck. Lock that down. All right. Connect your negative. Positive. This little cover closed on me. Make sure it's pushed all the way down. And always wiggle them. Make sure they're tight and they're not going to move. Go ahead and close your cover. Now I'm going to use this old battery for a stand. Okay, that's your hold down right there. Now, let's put this bracket back on. This goes up under. Alright, grab your other bolt. Started a couple turns. socket off the extension because we don't need it for that top bolt. Snug it up. Alright, last but not least. Get all your tools, close that cover, get everything off. You don't want to leave your tools under the hood. I've done it. it. Sucks. They never come back to you. Start her up and make sure she starts up nice and strong because I've had batteries come off the shelf dead because batteries do have a shelf life. Make sure your volt gauge goes all the way up to 13 and 14 like it's doing. Do a couple times and make sure it's going to sound strong. You could always test it again after to make sure it's testing good, but you can go by the parts store and do that. But most parts stores are not going to change. They'll change like easy batteries for you, but they're not going to change the battery that difficult. We charge an hour labor to do that battery. I mean, I can do it in about 30 minutes, but we're giving a customer break today because he's one of our good customers and he spends a lot of money with us. So, anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so I can continue to make videos like this to make your life easier. Y'all have a good weekend. Peace out, YouTube.